Michael, firstly, thanks for the invitation to Tornos today. You must be immensely proud of the product that you're delivering uh, from here to your customers. Indeed, yes, I'm very proud of, of Tornos. Uh, it's not my work, but it's a work of a team, and I'm proud to... And you've been CEO for six years now. What, what's changed in that time, going back six years to today? Tornos has uh, evolved uh, drastically in the last six years. Uh, today our manufacturing solutions meet the demands of most of the customers. And when, when we see change, it normally comes in obviously different types of machines. What's the latest innovations to come out of here? Uh, our, our range uh, of products uh, starts uh, when we talk about size of one millimeter, it goes up to 36 millimeters. It covers basically the whole range of products from Swiss type to multi-spindle machines. Because some of the latest innovations include the multi-Swiss, don't they? So tell us a little bit about that model. Yeah. The multi-Swiss machine has been uh, introduced uh, several years ago. Now it has uh, um, been extended to different diameters. Uh, we have been quite successful. In so you now do bigger parts on that machine, can't you? You've got a bigger diameter. Exactly, bigger by diameters up to 32 millimeters with uh, eight spindle machines, six spindle machines. And what about the, Swiss, the new Swiss Deco that's just around the corner? All right, we have been showing the Swiss Deco the first time at our uh, uh, exhibition called EMO in Hanover, uh, as it looks like it will be a great success. What is good about that machine? We did get a quick look at it at the show, and it was attracting a lot of attention. What are, what are engineers going to like about that new model? Yeah. This, kind, this, this kind of machine meets all requirements of uh, state-of-the-art customer demands, as from, from number of tools in as terms of uh, industry 4.0 applications uh, as concerns also automation solutions. And when will that machine be ready? When will it be coming through here at, you know, on the production line? We're going to introduce the machine next year. Uh, so as from the second semester 2018, we'll be seeing this in the market. You mentioned industry 4. It's a very hot topic at the moment. Uh, over the last few years, what have Tornos been doing to embrace that sort of technology? Yeah. Actually, indeed, we have already been introducing Industry 4.0 uh, um, applications uh, three years ago. And so far, uh, under the name of TISIS, uh, our software expert system, so far we installed more than 1,000 uh, software expert systems. Oh, wow. And, and what's the impact for the customer? I mean, are you getting much feedback from how it's helping them in their production processes? At the, at the end, it's all about efficiency, the increase, increase of efficiency. Uh, in order to, to uh, monitor, to uh, collect data, make sure that the machine runs day and night. Uh, tell me a little bit about the, the, the kind of local area, uh, the size of the, the factory that you've got here and how many people you employ, because being in the town last night, it's quite evident that you, you must be one of the biggest companies around here, one of the biggest regional employers. Is that the case? That's the case. Uh, when you look at, uh, at Muchi, where the headquarter of Tornos is located, uh, but we are uh, located uh, basically everywhere in the world. Half of our employees are outside Switzerland. Uh, we do produce machines not only in Switzerland, but also in Taiwan and China. And talking about the, the, the engineers that you have here, obviously very highly skilled, are they? Yes, they're highly skilled. And this is, it is in, the, in their DNA. Uh, it, you have to know that this is the area of the watchmakers. And for... Uh, of, of years and decades, these people are, are connected with uh, micro-mechanics and, and precision mechanics. And it seems like this is obviously the, the assembly area that we're in here, but do you make and machine all, the, uh, all, all your own uh, castings and, and, and all the fabricated parts, are they all done here as well? Yeah. Basically, most of the parts are done in-house. Uh, we're talking about strategic key components uh, where we cannot find suppliers who meet our uh, quality requirements, but for simpler parts, we also go the outsourcing way. And it's very true, Tornos is all about precision and performance, isn't it? Is that a good summary? Uh, yes, I would say precision and productivity.